While most of us can now take for granted the protection offered by COVID vaccines, for some people with certain conditions, vaccines offer little protection and can even pose risks. So a new COVID prevention clinic in Melbourne's east is now offering those patients an alternative, as Roseanne Maloney reports. When Fiona Lally caught COVID-19 earlier this year, she was worried she wouldn't survive. She'd received several vaccine doses, but a health condition meant she was still vulnerable. I have multiple sclerosis and one of the medications I take purposely kills half my immune system. And so that puts me at a greater risk of catching COVID. Now this clinic is giving her the protection she's been missing. Very excited just because of the numbers going up and things like that as well and a lot of people locally. The new clinic at Ringwood in Melbourne's East is one of the first of its kind in Victoria offering the drug Evershield, an alternative to standard vaccines. And it's a medication that can prevent severe COVID illness in high-risk patients. While regular vaccines require an immune response to work, the new drug offers protection without that response. There is a small cohort of patients that don't have a good response to the vaccine. Um, so these are high-risk patients that are generally very immunosuppressed. So it's shown to have an 83% relative risk reduction of hospitalisation in the six months after administration. The hospital estimates it'll now be able to administer Evershield to around 3,000 people in the area, about 150 people a month. While it's only available to people in the Eastern Health area, the hospital says it won't rule out expanding the program if demand increases. We certainly would be looking to open it up to other you know, external providers as well if, if needed. It will give me a little bit more freedom, make me feel like I can go to some highly populated places a little bit more comfortably than what I could have before. Another shot at more COVID protection. Roseanne Maloney, ABC News, Melbourne.